Hi darlings, Mimi G here with another project as part of the Mimi G Michael Levine collaboration. Today we're going to do a really cute, easy and fast poncho. Let's get started. Depending on how tall you are, you're going to need anywhere from two and a half to three yards of fabric. I'm going to be using a knit fabric. This is sort of a knit terry. You can use a sweater knit, a double knit, anything that has a nice amount of stretch will work just fine for this project. You're going to need a t-shirt. Any t-shirt that you have will do. You're going to need a ruler, something to mark your fabric with, a pair of scissors, and your measuring tape. You're going to take a couple measurements. We're going to be doing a high-low poncho, so I want you to measure however long you want your poncho to, poncho to be in the front, which means you're going to measure from your shoulder down to however long you want it. Now, mine is going to be 20 inches because I like to show off my jewelry when I wear my poncho. So, if you want it longer, then just measure however long you want it. The second measurement is going to be from your shoulder to however you want the back of your poncho to be. And mine is going to be 33 inches because I want a significant high-low um, and I want it to be uh, just below my knee. I've decided to use this t-shirt, a short sleeve t-shirt. It doesn't matter if it's short sleeve or long sleeve. We're actually not using the sleeves. And I have it folded in half. I also have my fabric folded in half with right sides together, meaning the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. And the fold of my fabric is towards me as well as the fold of my t-shirt. So just align both your t-shirt and your fabric. And what you're going to do is you're just going to fold in your sleeves because we're not going to use them. And you're going to make a couple of markings. The first one is however long you want the front of your poncho to be. So from the shoulder here, I'm going to measure down 20 inches because that's how long I wanted mine to be. And I'm just going to make a little mark just to remind myself. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out from that dot about 6 inches. And I'm going to make one more line. Now we're going to use the front neckline of our t-shirt, but as you can see, the back portion of the t-shirt is in the way. So what you're going to do is you're just going to move it out of the way and make a little marking at the top. And then when you remove it, you can just join that to create your neckline. Now you're essentially just going to be copying the very top of this and then you're going to make one straight line to this new line that we had created here. So I'm going to use my ruler. I'm just going to follow the natural curve of the shoulder and then I'm going to do one straight line. I'm going to remove my t-shirt and then make one straight line across the bottom. Now you can, if you have a French curve or an SA curve ruler, you can use that to just curve this very top. Or you can do it by hand. Now we're going to cut this particular piece out and we're going to use the front piece to create our back piece. Now you're just going to cut around the lines that you created. Now we're going to use this piece to create our back piece. So readjust your fabric and we're going to use the fold of the fabric again. If you don't have enough fabric and you can't place your pattern piece on the fold of the fabric, then just create a center back seam and sew that back seam together and then continue as one piece. So I'm going to fold this back up
And what we're going to do is we're going to create the longer piece and we're going to bring the neckline up. So you want to measure up two inches from your neckline. And then just create another curve. This is now your back piece. And then you're going to measure however long you want that back poncho to be. And so I wanted mine to be 33 inches, so I'm going to measure down. I'll make a little line. And then make one line across the bottom, about six inches long. And then you're going to just curve until you meet this point here. So you can either do that by hand, you're just going to eye it. Like this. And now you've created your neckline at the back, so now you just need to follow the line, remove the top, and now as you can see we have a longer back piece. So you're just going to cut this one out too. Now we just need to create the turtleneck. So you have your front piece and you have your back piece, and now we're going to measure the neckline. Now the easiest way to do this is you're just going to pull your neckline so that both seams are aligned and you're just going to measure how long this is. So I already know that mine is 11 inches but basically you just want to get an estimated width of your neckline. So then take that number and you're going to multiply it by 2. So I'm going to do 22 inches. And then using the fold of your fabric and if you have a piece of scrap as long as it's wide enough just uh, fold your fabric so that the fold is again facing you and then you're going to measure out because it's on the fold so you're only using a half measurement my 11 inches you're going to do however wide your neckline was and then you can make your turtleneck as tall or as short as you as you want I'm going to do it so that mine is about four and a half um, inch, about four inches. So that means I need to make my piece of fabric eight inches because we're going to fold it onto itself before we attach it. So I'm going to measure down eight inches. And then again across. And I'm just cut this little rectangle out. So you have one piece like this. Now that we have the three pieces, we're going to go to the sewing machine and get, uh, get started. I want you to lay your short piece on top of your, uh, or front piece on top of your back piece with right sides facing and we're going to pin them down the side. When we get to the sewing machine, you're just going to sew all the way down one side and then all the way down the other side. So if you want to go ahead and pin it now to make things easier on yourself, you can. Just a couple of pins to help you keep both layers together as you're sewing. Pin the other side the same way. Now we're going to start on one side at the bottom and we're going to sew all the way up. I'm using a different color thread so you guys can see it on camera but you should be using um, a thread that matches your fabric and we're going to be using a half inch seam allowance. If you have a serger, now would be a good time to finish your edges. Otherwise, um, you have both sides sewn together, so put that aside and grab your turtleneck. And you're going to fold it in half so that right sides are facing. And we're going to sew together the short end.
Now once you have it sewn, go ahead and open your seam and then fold it in half. Kind of looks like a headband. And now we're going to sew this onto our neckline. So grab your poncho and turn it right sides out. And then go ahead and slip your turtleneck through. And you can align one side seam to the seam on your turtleneck if you'd like. Or you can place the seam on the center back. You're going to adjust and pin all the way around. At least three or four pins to help you keep it all together. Once you have it pinned, if you have a removable arm, go ahead and remove it. And you're going to sew all the way around using a half inch seam allowance and making sure that all three layers are aligned. And now you have your turtleneck attached. And all that's left to do is the hem of the poncho. So I'm gonna be using a double fold, which means I'm going to fold over a quarter inch, and then I'm gonna fold over again, and I'm gonna sew really close to the edge. So I'm gonna put my arm back on. And I'm gonna start at one seam. I'm going to fold and then fold over again. I'm going to place my needle right on the edge of that fold and I'm going to sew all the way around. That is all the sewing that we are going to do. Now all you need to do is make sure that you give your hem a nice good press because sometimes when you're sewing around a curve, you might get a little ripple, something that looks like this on your hem. And so you just need to press it out so that it's nice and flat. Give it a good little steam. That's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you guys again really soon. Peace.